Hey there! I have a little announcement to make before we start this video. I have been monetized. I can't believe it. I absolutely am amazed that I have this opportunity now. I literally did not think I was going to get monetized and I'm so thankful that I did. I am like over the moon. I've been waiting an entire year now. I applied for monetization last year in April and now I've finally gotten it this year in April. <laughs> So had to wait about a year, but that's absolutely fine. I can't believe that I am here. This is great. Thank you all for sticking around for so long and just being so supporting. So this video is me attempting to draw with my left hand and then afterwards attempting to do realism again. I think I've gotten a little better. You tell me at the end. So starting off, I really wanted to do an Easter theme. I just really wanted to do Easter bunnies, bunny girls. So that's what I did. Um, I really wanted to draw overalls. I was obsessed with overalls. I love overalls. I wanted to do overalls in a skirt. I love, I don't know, I love Easter. I love spring. I love the vibes it gives. It's so clean and peaceful. And after I picked the colors, I set down really strong um, shading. I, I blushed the body. And then I added really strong shading and then I lightened it and then I kind of blended it. I kind of like blurred it a bit. And that's kind of like what I did. It was as simple as I could get it. Just some harsh lines, blur them, lighten them, you know, add some touches of color and random spots, shading. I really went crazy with the eyes. It was very fun. It was. I had a lot of fun with this one. I like her hair color. I like that it's kind of like a brownish red. Here's my left hand. Oh my gosh. I was so... <laughs> I was like prepared for it to be bad. I didn't want to do liner. I didn't want to try. Just because I wanted to look pretty organic. I wanted you to see my first attempt at drawing the body with my left hand. And I had something to work off with. That's why I have the reference on the side so I can see it. I kind of messed up on the eyes. I couldn't, for the life of me, make my left hand do what I wanted it to do. It was so wobbly. It was, it would do the same exact messed up line that it wanted to do. It was just like so hard. It was like drawing invertedly. And so <laughs> I think it looked okay though. I think I made her arms a little too long in like both. They just seem long in my opinion i don't know like i think her shoulders should be arched more like forward but it's it's okay i mean it's my style <laughs> yes Ooh, it's my style to draw really long arms no no but like i probably would make the arms shorter in the future the next drawing is based on it's still kind of Eastery, I guess, because she has bunny ears. But I really wanted to steer away from the happy, bright colors. I didn't want it to look like the same. So I went like the opposite way. I went like dark and vibrant. So I completely based this on like Vaporwave. I knew from the start I wanted like a, like a J-pop kind of very stylish look. I wanted it to be like just completely different or somewhat different. There's still like pastels and everything, but I based the color scheme off the Vaporwave. Like I wanted a Vaporwave kind of color scheme. Well, that's what I did. Um, I, with her eyes, I wasn't sure if I made the eyes too big because they just didn't look quite right. I wanted them to be sharp and dramatic and, you know, big, but I wasn't sure if they were laying perfectly on the face. I got a Vaporwave image and I kind of collected the colors that were used in that and I kind of used that for her base for her base colors and then I just started to draw the shading. I had done very uh, soft shading lines on some of her hair. So there's like darkness on her hair. So there's like dark blobs on her hair. And then I went with the eraser tool and I started like flicking the color out of her hair. So it kind of gave it like, there's like hair strands, you know, like hair chunks and like had that shine to it. And then like the depth of it the body was kind of like how I did the first drawing. I laid down 
really harsh dark colors and then I lighten them and then I would blend them a little and then I would get that same dark color and I would kind of put it randomly in spots to give it some sort of depth and texture or kind of like a painty style. I also franken dolled my first base. Like, I got this girl named, uh, yes, it is this wonderful lady named Senji Stock. She makes so many stock images. Um, and she's even suggested that if there's no pose, which in my case, there wasn't really a pose that she had, um, just get her images and splice them together, which is exactly what I did. There was some things that weren't really lining up, like her left arm I couldn't really find a pose that really matched it very well so I kind of just tried making it as realistic as possible I really wanted it to look like good enough so I started I'm starting with the face I really again I kept in mind that this is going to be realistic I wanted to add some shading and like just some base so that when I do go on with the coloring I kind of have an idea of where it's supposed to be dark and where it's supposed to be light where I want that. So just laying down some bases. I did the eye shape. I laid down some colors, some blush. I started laying down all the colors. I made them a little darker just so it's more realistic. And then I started putting down the base shades and oh my gosh, at this point, her face looks so creepy to me. I don't know why I was staring at the draft before I started actually shading this part. And it was just so odd to me to see a human face but like not really like it was very abstract but once I started shading it she looked a little normal like this scene I this still bothered me I don't know why but uh, once I started laying down more shading and the eyebrows I made the eyebrows darker um she started coming to life I was actually really surprised I did not know how this was going to turn out usually it is either a hit or it's a miss and this time I did not miss so I was really excited about that because sometimes I have to start all overs because my realism drawings just won't look right. Like, I think it looked really well though. I think I was very lucky today. I did a good job and I was really thankful that it actually came out okay. Like, I was really surprised myself. Like, I think the face looks okay. I do think it needs work. I mean, I would totally work on it more in the future. But like for this challenge and not drawing realism in like months, I think it was a pretty good try. The hands, I really like the hands. Um, I like how the hands came out. I don't really know how to shade hands that well, but again, I was looking at a photo that I had taken and that really helped me help lay down the colors of where they're gonna go in the shading. And also that, you know, it might look better if she's holding the bunny by its bottom instead of like up high like a sandwich. She kind of, like, in the original, she kind of looks like she's holding a sandwich. But, like, in the realism one, I kind of wanted her to look a little more natural. Like, she's actually holding a toy. Because it's supposed to be a toy. It's supposed to be, like, a toy bunny that's kind of realistic. I thought that might help me in the future. I don't know why. I should have probably made it really simple. It would have been easier to draw, but... I just thought it'd be really cute if she's holding a bunny. Yeah, but, um, I laid down... I, I really struggled hard with these clothes. These clothes were really getting at me. I like spent hours trying to freaking get these colors down and they look muddy and then they were like looking weird and I was like, oh my gosh, like how am I going to do this? I got a, a reference of an actual jacket eventually and that really helped me. And then like I made out, I worked on this next side, her, her left, her right side and that actually came out a lot better in my opinion. I spent less time on it and I was just like, oh, okay, uh, maybe I should lay down more shading colors before I just go right in. I don't know. I'm, I'm still kind of figuring out how to actually shade clothing. Clothing is so difficult because it's so unpredictable. It's just really unpredictable. Like skin, you know where the blushing will go. But with clothing, it's very abstract, I think. And so I was having trouble making things look actually shaded and creasing and like popping out and not using the same color on everything but kind of still and like making it not look too muddy i didn't want the colors to look muddy but i don't know you tell me if they look muddy i i did try my best again i had like a lot of sharp lines i didn't want to give her any light art i was trying not to i was trying to just make it like shaded and her leg was bothering me her bent leg i don't know what was bothering me about it i think it just seemed too squashed or like too wide or something or like too short but too thick i don't know it, it just it looked more like a chicken drumstick than a leg, so I kind of 
elongated her calf a little bit just to make it look a little more natural in my opinion i'm not saying that's how bodies really look i didn't find that many good like references of this exact pose so i was just working off with what i was given but yeah um i added like the lighting and everything i think it actually came out really well the the hair was the final part i didn't want to do the hair and then have to cover it with clothes or anything so i made sure to wait for the end so it'd be easier to remove and mess up and make it all crazy and I added the colors and I kind of fixed everything up as much as I could. But yeah, I'm really actually very happy with how this came out. Like, I'm I'm really happy. I, I think it came out really good. I, I hope you liked it. I hope it was like, I hope you saw a difference from like last time when I did the Halloween theme to like this time. I definitely want to do these more. I like want to get really good at realism. I'm hoping to get better at realism. Because it really helps me understand the anatomy too. I feel like I draw way too much anime to really understand all of the anatomy parts and stuff. So I think it would be great if I was able to get better at realism. But I hope you enjoyed that. Happy, uh, happy Easter! And if I'm a little late with this video for Easter time, I hope that you had a happy Easter, whatever holiday it is. And, and I hope you have a good week. But yes, thank you so much for coming by, watching my video with me and discussing it. Um, tell me which one was your favorite. I'm like, I mean, tell me if you think I should do more, more realism. I really, I really think I need to learn a lot about it. Um, watch more videos about it. But yeah, thank you all for coming by. Happy birthday. It's not your birthday. Happy unbirthday. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.